John is now in the studio, pop legend, England's record cap holder at Soccer Aid, Ollie Mears. Morning, Ollie. <laughs> morning, Ollie. Morning, Ollie. Morning. Morning, you know, Ollie. it's so lovely to be in the studio, isn't it? I haven't seen you guys in such a long no, time. No, I know. I hate um, doing it on all them Zooms and... Ollie, the debrief is better. Yeah, we love a Friday, Ollie. But yeah, you, it's but great But you're to be. in training, you can't come. Oh, Before I'm you really ask, sorry. You I'm really fit, mate. You're looking good. I'm trying to, yeah. Just, I've just been training and just trying to look after myself and, yeah, feeling good. Feeling good right yeah, now. Good. Uh, about you, El? El? I know. I tell, I tell you who is feeling good. Uh, you're a big United fan. Harry's doing well, Harry Maguire, and yeah. Marcus is on fire again. I, you know what? It's really great for Harry. I'm really happy for him um, because he's had a real torrid time at United, um, you know, and, and, and for England, really, in the past. Mm. A lot of people have been saying things about him, but it's nice for him to come out and play and we look really solid defensively at the minute which is great and I think he's been brilliant so Ollie. and Marcus as well yeah, yeah. brilliant where, where have you been watching the games mate you've been uh, out I went your mates to, or you've I been I went to the in? Wembley Box Park for the first game which was absolutely mental was it I mean because it was 12 o'clock kickoff was it um, yeah, against Iran, Iran. Yeah. and it was mental I couldn't believe the atmosphere it was great it felt like being at a game and then um, I went to the Talk Sport fan zone uh, oh. the other night yeah How which was, that? was brilliant <laughs> Absolutely. Did you, Again, did you get same. your token for a drink? I did, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I've, I haven't, yeah, I, I mean, I wasn't drinking, but what a vibe it was. Again, great atmosphere. Um, this weekend, I'm just going to be watching it at home, mm. unfortunately. But um, it's, it's, it still feels a bit odd for me that there's a World Cup at this time of year. Absolutely. <laughs> but I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of enjoying it, yeah. Uh, Adam McCoy's been out there for about a month. Are you there, Ali? Oh, I'm here, all right, Ollie. Ollie. Don't worry about it. I'm, I, I'm flying a talk sport flag out here, mate. I'm trying to get a big ally out, but uh, just on, on another matter, if they invite you to that debrief, pal, don't go, because you'll not go home on Tuesday. <laughs> I've seen the videos online. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Al? You OK? I'm loving it, Ollie. I'm absolutely loving it. I just saying, I just just saying to Stuart there. I think that I went to a game last night. Really enjoyed the game last night. Spain Japan was unbelievable, and I think that's the. But the, I think it's the eleventh game I've been to. So really lucky, Ollie. The football's been magic. Really, some of the stories within the football. Obviously, the England boys doing well. Wales pretty poor, but some of the stories like Saudi beating Argentina and. Australia qualifying, mm. even Japan. Some of the stories are brilliant, mate. I love, I love you on the telly yeah. as well as a co-commentator. You're brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much, Ollie. I really, really appreciate it. Big Al's trying to get me the final, aren't you, mate? Well, uh, you I know, thought you'd have uh, been there, would he, Ellie? Yeah, you sure. You know, he's. Uh, I think we're fine. He's in a Don't worry about it, mate. Find, uh, he's got the final. I didn't say that. <laughs> he's got that big wooden spoon. He's got uh, that big wooden no, spoon. No, no, he's no. I'm, I, I'm, you, know, you brought it up, not me. Uh, Ollie's. Uh, have you your new album out today? It is actually. Yeah, I've just been doing the rounds here at the radio station. Went just done Virgin with um, Chris. Chris Evans, and then I've just come walking in here to see you guys. So yeah. What nice. sort of album is it? Yeah, anything, no, anything to surprise us? No, it's just a fun album, really fun pop album. I'm just really excited to be back. Um, you know, some of your listeners might not like it, but um, no, I'm back with new music and I'm just excited, really. Nice to have new tunes on the radio and back doing what I love. I love singing and dancing and performing for people. Yeah. So, and uh, touring we've seen as well. You. Yeah, we've seen you, haven't we, live? Oh, Brilliant. thanks. What about touring as well? What yeah, touring? next year we've got an arena tour, uh, April, May, and then I'll be doing, you'll, you'll love this, boys, uh, doing the old race courses. I'll be down at Newmarket again. Uh, there's a few other ones on well, the Well, on the raise schedule. my agent. He's trying to get you a gig at Chelmsford. City race course. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see Ray, he goes, Chelmsford, go on, do Chelmsford. Come on, come on, go on Chelmsford. It's only down the road for me. It's perfect. <laughs> He's at Run From Ollie, Dogs Ollie, tonight. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, Ollie, I need to ask you, mate. It might not be high on your agenda, but what about Hamilton Park? <laughs> oh, I'd love to, mate. Absolutely. Ollie, did you say, where's that? <laughs> oh, I was going to say that, actually. <laughs> it's just so sad. I'm just basketball. being nice. <laughs> And that's oh. from the new album, Marry Me, yes? Yes, Out Al. today, there you go. It is out today. Raising Soho today, aren't you, Ray? I'm in Soho later. Yeah. What are you doing over there? Well, we've got a little shop opening today. Oh, uh, nice. There's a new gold kit coming out, Ollie. You like, won't like this because it's Arsenal when they beat Manchester United. 2002, Old Trafford. Can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, no, trying, that, it's that was, a replica. That was over uh, Mars, wasn't it? No, that was 98. Oh, right, 2002 okay. was Will Tord. Will Tord. Oh, yes. oh, that was a big, big game for us, and uh, they're bringing a new retro gold kit out. So I'll be over there after the show, after the debrief, and then to the, straight to the shop. 
So where are you, where are you today, later? That. You got that other bits on? I've got loads on today, yes. So much going on. I'm doing a gig down there, um, in Kingston tonight at the St John's Church. So it's the launch of the album. So we did it last night and we're doing it again tonight. All the fans come. Oh, and, brilliant. Um, we get mauled wine, mince pies, talk, a, talk about the album and do some exclusive songs from the album. So. Oh, are you here yeah. for Christmas or are you abroad? Yeah, I'm going to be in Essex, yeah. I'm going to be in Essex at Christmas with my family. Uh, Amelia will be over in Plymouth, the missus. And um, yeah, it's going to be really exciting. Looking forward to having Christmas with the family. Really, yeah, brilliant. it's going to be awesome. I love yeah. it. I love this time of year. It's yeah. my favourite. Is it going to be? A, well, it's meant to get. It's getting colder now, so we might yeah. even get a white Christmas. What about England then? Can they bring the nation, the English nation? Uh, a Merry Christmas, can they win it? Can they go all the way, do you think, what you've seen so far? Oh, 100%. Um, I, 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 I feel like every tournament when I watch the England, especially in the last of the Euros, I always mm. felt in the, group, in, the, in, the, in the group stages we weren't particularly firing. But the, what Southgate's done in the past is he's, he's the most successful England manager in a, in a knockout competition. Is that correct? Apart from, obviously, yeah. um, when we won it in 66. But since then, he's been fantastic. So I've got full confidence in the way that we're playing right now. What do you think the team will be, Oli? Uh, any changes, do you think? Mm. Or would he keep Rashford in? The, the, the big one for me is the, two, is, the, is the same two positions. It's whoever plays in the 10 or if, the, or if he plays two eights. It'll be the 10, whoever plays in the 10 role, which, yeah. which is Mount normally been taking, or the left side. Because I'm not sure Sterling's been that great. So he hasn't. He wasn't. He started. He wasn't, scored, didn't he? He did, but he wasn't particularly great in that game. I don't think, and he wasn't particularly great. He hasn't been particularly great for Chelsea this season. But I think mm. Marcus has been fantastic. Mm. Grealish, I think, hasn't really. Well, I think Grealish is probably down in the pecking order at the moment. He's not and quite. Madison, we're talking about Madison. And Madison now, hasn't played. No. Um, but I, I honestly think. In, in Southgate, we trust. I think I think he'll get it spot on for Senegal. And and also they're a, they're a tough team. It'll be a tough game. Yeah, a physical mm. game. That's yeah. what I wonder. Mm. I wonder if we put, well, the big argument we had, Ali Ray, not argument. Um, Henderson, will we sit in there uh, with Jude Bellingham and uh, Declan, or would you just play the two? Oh, see, I think because the way that Senegal play, I think they've got. A, it's going to be a very physical game. So I think he's going to want to. Yeah, I think in that midfield, I think he'll put Henderson and Bellingham. Um, with Rice, mm. and then it will. I think he might. I've got a feeling he's going to go with with Rashford and and Saka yeah. up top with it's Harry. Be interesting, Ali. Do you, Ali, you think um, Marcus is on fire, isn't he? Has he got to oh, start, Ali? Brilliant. Yeah, well, I think so. I, I genuinely think so. I, I think it's just it's just great to see him back playing with that confidence, that smile on his face, that swagger, you know, that ability. Because we haven't seen it for for so long, and it's been well documented. I agree with Ollie. I, I think he'll go the three in the middle. I think he'll play Declan a bit yeah, deeper with, with, with Bellingham and, and Henderson in front. Um, and I actually, th what I think he'll do, I, I don't see him change. I think he'll play Foden as well. Mm. We came through in the middle and Rashford. But then, as I said earlier, guys, I don't know whether you agree, Ollie. The wonderful thing that, that Gareth's got now is, you know, if, if he plays Saka or, or, you know, or he plays Sterling, there's no real complaints from anybody because no. you can't say they haven't deserved it. So he's in a good position, Gareth. Yeah. No, they're all they're all fantastic. I mean, what a luxury to have. I mean, like you said, Madison's not even played yet. Yeah. You've got Greedish has yeah. had, had very little minutes. I mean, he's a, such an amazing player. Mm. Foden was great the other night. But then saying that after 45 minutes, it's mad, isn't it, football? It changes so quickly. After yeah. 45 minutes, I was chatting to Jason Cundy and, and Jamie O'Hara after the uh, half time, and you know Rashford's touch and the way he played that first half yeah. again, he was all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Again, he, had, Ollie's yeah, though, he missed he? he missed that chance in the first 10 minutes, which you could see affected him for the for the mm. first, yeah, for the yeah. rest of the half. Amazing. Then he comes out Rose. second half. Gareth's changed it. Put Foden yeah. left, put Rashford right. He gets the goal. All of a sudden, the second half, he's a world beater. Mm. And then Foden even had a better second half. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's it's mad because Saka, for me, although he's in the first game he was fantastic, I think against the United States, we, we could have probably dragged him at half time. I didn't think, I think, you know, no, a shocking no. what about game. Ollie, uh, yeah. Brazil, but we have such great players going forward, and I think Saka could easily come on and make yeah, a difference against bench. Senegal. Yeah. So who's the dangers? France, Brazil? France probably quarterfinals, all going well for I England. think it's it's all France and Brazil, isn't it? I mean, every game I've Not seen... Not Portugal? Them, no, I'd, I'd be confident against Portugal. I feel like France and and, and uh, Brazil, I just think they're, 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 they are they're fantastic. No, I'm not worried about them either. No. No. I'm not worried about them too. I, I think I think France and Brazil, for me, they just have some so much strength and depth in all, in, in all areas. Um yeah, they're the two that I would be most worried about. And we've got France. If we get through against Senegal, France yeah. will be the team in the quarterfinals. You, 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 you suspect France will will make it 
to the latter stages. You just you just can't see oh, them getting it's a, it's beat. It's a massive quarter That would be some guy. Should England beat Senegal, oh. of course, because mm. uh, it would be physical. Ollie, I'm not going to keep you. I know you're busy. Can we play out with Dancing on Cars again, Ed, please? Uh, oh, brilliant. Thank, thank you, you very so much. Cheers, Ollie. Have a great day and enjoy the World Cup. All the best, Ollie. You are the best. See you soon.